So I phone up one of my wait staff. Uh, I have 25 employees in the summer, but about you know 12 to 13 in the winter. And uh, one of my waitresses in the city I, that I'm fairly good friends with, I, I phoned her up and said, go down to the health food store, get some cursin and some zinc, bring it up to this, uh, this ward up here at the University Hospital and, and uh, I'll e-transfer you whatever it is. So she did that, I e-transferred. She said, said the amount and so the next day I still hadn't got my stuff. So I said to the nurse, I said, I, I'm supposed to get a package up here, deliver it up here. And she goes, yeah, she goes, it was delivered up here, but I showed it to the doctor and the doctor says, you can't have it. I said, oh, okay. I said, no, it's not prescribed by us, by the doctor, and he, whatever's prescribed by him, that's all you can have. You can't bring any other medicine in from outside. So I figured, okay, I gotta think this one out. So I phoned up my ex-wife and said, go down to the health food store, go buy some cursinum zinc, and I said, break it up, take, open up the bottle, throw the pills in the bottom of the grapes and bring it up here. <laughs> so, <laughs> so she does, that, does what I tell her and brings it up there. And of course, uh, she told me not to mention her name. She goes, I'll get in trouble, don't mention my name. Yeah, okay, well, I'm not gonna mention her name, but uh, you guys are all figured out who she is already. But uh, so then uh, the nurse brings, looks, sees his grapes and chocolate bars and brings it through. And of course, that was on a Tuesday. So Tuesday, uh, Joe said to take it during your, your supper and dinner meals. So uh, this was uh, Tuesday afternoon when I got this package. And uh, so I took a cursing and zinc at supper that, that night. And then the next morning for breakfast, I took two more. I figured, you know, another zinc, another cursing. And I, heck, I'm just about dead anyway. I might as well. What's that heck is he using, doing three? He said it was maybe hard to deliver and stuff, but I figured that's the least of my worries. And uh, so I took it three times. I took it at breakfast the next day, uh, lunch, and supper. By supper, I had improved quite a bit. Um, the doctor had noticed it. He says, yeah, he says, you know, your oxygen requirement's down a bit. He says, you're down to like, I think it was 45 or 50 percent. And... Uh, so of course I never said nothing to him and uh, the next morning on Thursday morning took the same routine three more times during that day by by supper or just after supper when the doctor came through he goes he goes you've improved quite a bit he said uh, he said if you carry this on he says you get under under 30 percent we can ship you back to Nippon he says you can go to the hospital there so the next day um, I was down to less than 30 percent so then uh, uh, the doc goes, yeah, we can we can transfer you over to to Nippon. and so he said, I'll line up an ambulance, and the ambulance was like fifteen hundred bucks or something like that, and and I said, well, hey, can I just catch a ride with my ex-wife? I said she has a house back in Tobin, she's going back Friday nights anyway because she has a business in Saskatoon. She comes up Monday night and comes back Friday night, or comes up Monday morning, comes back Friday night. So anyway, after being convincing to the doctor, I. Uh, he said, ah, okay. He said, we'll just give you an extra oxygen tank to take, take with you, but take, she's got to take you straight to Nippo. And I said, yep, fair, fair enough. So anyway, as I'm getting my clothes on and signing out the release forms and everything, as you're getting out of the hospital, I said, Doc, I said, I got to tell you something. I said, uh, this is tough here, but um, I, I said, uh, you got to uh, uh, give this cursed in and zinc to everybody that comes in here. I said, because I smuggled it in here. And uh, so he looks at me and he goes, how, how do you spell it? I said, curse it, and I spelled it. And uh, so he goes and researches it, and he goes, well, he says, we can't. He says, it's in Health Canada trials, and we're not allowed to prescribe it yet. And I said, let me guess. It's going to be in Health Canada trials till everybody gets a vaccine, right? And he smiled and walked away. <laughs> <laughs> 